What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna start a little video series. Uh, everybody's been asking, quite a few people to ask what's, what's underneath the tarp. There's a few videos, pictures, whatnot on the, uh, on the channel of uh, my old car right here. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, just something I've had for a long time, a lot of rust. Uh, so we'll get it uncovered, maybe uh, maybe wash it, maybe see if it's a start. I hadn't run in probably five or six years. Uh, so let's get into it. We'll get back at you in a minute. Let's see what's underneath the hood of this old sucker. Oh, that's really heavy hood. Oh. So, what we got here is a 225 slant six. Uh, one barrel carburetor. Don't know how many miles on it. Uh, speedometer wasn't, didn't ever work when I got the car. Uh, it is a three speed on the column. It is missing the master cylinder. I do have a new master cylinder to put on it. Uh, probably get that in the video uh, here pretty soon. Uh, got a lot of condensation on this thing. I need to let it sit here and dry out a little bit. So we'll catch you in a minute. Well, yeah. got a couple, a couple flat tires on it. I put, uh, I put these tires on that five or six years ago and <laughs> never driven on. They still even got the, they even got the little. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. They still got the little tip things on them. One of the tires manufactured. <clears throat> got a lot of condensation in there. I need to get my two knob out and put it in the garage. Save it for later. Got a couple of six by nines in the back. <laughs> Uh, this is not the factory seat that was in it. The factory seat would be this color right here. But is the, it is the same style seat. Uh, so it could be recovered back to the original color. Neither is the uh, rear seat. These are the only, basically the only two parts that is not original to the car. Uh, headliner is gone. I do have the metal support rods and the factory dome light. Got the factory rear view mirror, uh, factory steering wheel and all that. Uh, one piece right there, the grayish, whatever pink looking color piece you want, whatever color you want to call it. Uh, that holds the the uh, shifter for the three speed on the column. And back, back when I was a kid and driving the car, uh, I broke that piece broke and I had to get another piece, so that piece is not uh, not factory to the car either. Uh, dash, dash pretty rough. Pretty cracked up. And the floors are pretty bad. And so is the driver's side. Uh, I do have the factory door panels. Uh, windows do roll down, or they did. Let's see what you do. Well, it will. It will with a little bit of finesse. Uh, floorboard over here does have surface surface rust on it, but it's not rusted all the way through. Probably about the only. The only part of the floorboard that is good and the transmission tunnel is still good uh you can see that the floor over there is swiss swiss cheese too and you see i do have the factory panels factory sun visors uh these pieces are the kick panels but you can see they're pretty pretty rotten i just kept all the pieces there was no sense in throwing it away so this is my 68 Plymouth Valley 100. 
if you can see. It says value 100 on it. It's not an old bad car. It is mine. <laughs> it is paid for. I gave $400 for this car. Uh, I think maybe like uh, early 90s. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think maybe early 90s. And was my daily driver for a long time. Long, long time. I think one one piece, which the mirror, I mean, not the mirror, but the uh, antenna is not on here. And I took it off just for the fact of the car cover, uh, poking a hole through it. And I am missing the little Chrysler emblem that goes on the side of the uh, fender right here. And you can see, uh, tires are pretty good. It's a little dry rot up and they leaking down, but uh, and don't have any miles on the tires at all. Do have damage to the roof. I, can't, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch that or not, but it is dented in right in here. Um, kids, kids jumping on it when they were kids. Or when I when when I was younger, before I even got the car, some kids had already jumped on the roof and caused that damage. Uh, so we'll get back at you in a minute. We'll get this thing covered up, uncovered in the back, and show you the rest of it. Catch you here in a minute. All right. So you can see we did get the window to roll down. I think it just it just needs a little bit of, a little bit of grease in there, and probably some some uh, lubricant in the chassis or in the channel here we've got the little bitty vent windows this right here was the best thing ever this car this car did not come with air conditioner it is a uh, manual brake uh manual power steering no air conditioner this was your air conditioner you just crack that sucker open right there and you direct that air to wherever you want it to come in and man it worked great so, like I said in the previous clip, let's get this thing uncovered. I just had to see if the door, uh, the window was gonna roll down and show you that and uh, get back at you in a second. So, this is back when cars had three keys. An ignition key, door key, and a trunk key. Let's see, see if any of it still works. Uh-oh. door key still works let's check out the trunk key i'll show you one one cool thing before we do that this is actually actually the dealer dealer plate back before they put stickers on them uh, with the dealer's name and this is the factory factory little metal metal plate that the dealer put on there this car come from a dealership in nashville uh, which they drilled two holes in the trunk I thought that was cool that I still still have that little emblem. Uh, good thing to keep all the all original parts. Uh, this side over here does have three holes, and right across there, I got an emblem right there that says Plymouth on it. Uh, being the '68, it does have the uh, three compartment tail lights, which this is a one-off one-off year '60 uh, '60. Uh, Seven and uh, 69 with different tail lights. And we do have a old antique tag on it. I got that off of eBay. It's a 1968. I don't know what the FD stands for. And it says, let's see if we can get a better, better view of that tag. It says join on it. I don't know what the deal is, what it is, is with that. So, let's see. Let's see if the trunk key works. Uh-oh. All right. Here's in the trunk. Got some rod in there. Don't look like it's rotting all the way through. Or rust right there. Uh, my main thing is, it's got a lot of rust in the channel. And, uh, which I got all, all this stuff in here right now and you can't really see the uh, see the trunk floor, but it's pretty bad. 
I got an old uh, gas tank that I was going to use for it, which I would have to uh, clean the insides and coat the insides. This is, is the original uh, gas tank that come on come uh, on the car. Uh, do have the original jack. There's a long piece part of it. There's a foot foot piece of it. There's a little hook that uh, clips on hooks onto the bumper. Yeah, let's see what we got. And we got a bunch of much more parts. We got the little channel that goes on around the doors. Uh, this. This is not from the car. It's something I intend on using with this car, but it's not from this car. Uh, these, these are not from the car. I still got the original uh, pump for the uh, windshield washer fluid. And this actually, you would pump up with your foot. It goes down there by the close to the brake pedal, clutch pedal. Uh, I just try to, try to keep it all together. Uh, So uh, looks like we've got uh, one tire is still aired up. This tire is still pretty much aired up. So we're probably going to end this one on this uh, in this video, and we'll do we'll do some more on it. We'll get the tires aired up. Uh, we'll get it cleaned up. Uh, probably put a battery in it, clean the points. Uh, you know, do a few things, get it started, get it running. Uh, put the bachelor cylinder on it. Uh, maybe drive it around the block maybe drive it around the yard i don't know but we'll catch you on the next one peace